Lena Trevetti is like legendary. Because in the 90s, both my brother and I, we were young. I was in college. He had just graduated high school. And wow. we were doing all the typical things that people in college do. We were going to the best parties, listening to the best music. I mean, we grew up in the 90s and it just happens to be that I pioneered something that shaped the world of commerce, I guess. My sister was a visionary woman. She's ambitious. She has the ability to think really big and to actually make it happen. The woman who is referred to as having given birth to the internet and inventing e-commerce. My mom is Lena Trevetti, the what should be world pronounced Beanie Baby master. My name is Lena Trevetti and I was the 12th employee to work at Thai. When Warner flips the switch on Thai.com in late 1996, he makes internet history. His website, designed far from Silicon Valley by Lena and her brother in high school, will accidentally create a reason companies create websites to sell things. eBay would not have existed without Beanie Babies. It would have gone under. My parents immigrated here from India in 1972. They wanted me to be a doctor. <laughs> the stereotypical sort of uh, profession. When I look back at the things I've done, it's a very surreal feeling. And then for Hollywood to make a movie about part of my life. I was employee number 12. Three years later, we were the most profitable toy company in the world. On one hand, watching the beanie bubble is like self-reflection. On the other hand, it's like, whoa, did I just invent e-commerce? The internet's a whole new way of connecting to the rest of the world. It's amazing. It wasn't like we, at the time, were like, we're gonna build the first business to consumer website, let's do it, you know? It was just what happened. We started to get on the website because that's all there was on the internet. that the, one of his employees came up with the idea of a website and that was extremely unusual back then. Would you believe Beanie Babies have their own website? And that was when the journey began. Jillian and Reed regularly go on the internet. We go on the internet and we go to what they call the guest books. Where it was um, maybe one of the first blogs that ever existed on the internet as maybe your predecessor to like the sentiments that early Facebook was asking people to like share what are you doing right now in this moment. That was so far ahead. It's only in looking back that you see, wow, they were really early. This craze never would have happened if there wasn't an internet. I would find it very hard to believe that there was any site on the internet at that time that was getting more traffic than the Beanie Babies website. I did a little more than just create a website. I wrote roughly 135 poems while I was working at Thai. Both were pivotal factors that contributed to the Beanie Babies phenomenon being what it was, which is crazy. For a long time, my job was handling the articles and I would see these newspaper articles of people running after UPS trucks. There were people that went out to buy computers just to go to the Thai website. I think that there was a lot of excitement from what is now known as the first business to consumer website to ever be produced. Beanie Babies created e-commerce as we know it today because prior to Beanie Babies, there was no e-commerce. At that point, the impact of what we had done was indisputable. And what I wanted, ultimately I wasn't able to get it. So we left. And I later found out that people within the board of directors did not really understand the internet and thought it was a fad. I ended up leaving Ty. I'm through. What do you, what do you mean? I'm not your secret weapon. I'm not a secret and I'm not yours. I quit. 
and my career continued. The tech industry is the most sexist industry I have ever worked in. I have been working in AI for over 10 years, yet when you look at who all the big players are in the tech industry, I begin to understand why they call me the Barbie of the tech industry. I live in a small, tiny town in Wisconsin that you probably never heard of, and I'm working hard to bring joy back to this world. This is important to me because the most important role I play in this world is being a mother. I am a mother to a special needs child. She was born without a leg and she has a vision impairment. But don't get me wrong, she is a firecracker. A spicy, sassy teenager. Believe me, I know. Yet all through life, my child and I push through adversity together. Gender inequalities, injustices toward people with disabilities. We strive to live life the way we believe it should be. What made me most passionate is my child. She wanted to take a Lego robotics class. She was so excited to take this class. She wanted to quit after a week. And when I probed, she told me, that the class is broken up into small groups and each group has three boys and three girls. And she said, every group, the boys just are taking over and the girls, they don't even get hurt. They can't say anything. Their ideas are not listened to. I was like, wow, it's happening in fifth grade. But I have so many stories that illustrate the unfairness that exists in the tech industry that, it, it's ridiculous and it's sick, it's disgusting, it's gross. How do we take our experience and put a spotlight on it so that these corporations that are trying to fi figure out what the solution is even understands what the problem is? Lena Trevetti is a voice for young people looking to shape the next era of the world. This is just how the world is and I'm going to just work within it. We need to stop doing that because it doesn't have to be the way the world is. Lena speaks to everyone, men, women, young and old. She speaks to everyone who supports change in the world. She is the voice of the future. I think that there were decades where it just was not acknowledged or recognized. So there is a need for people to listen and hear from people like me on what the challenges really are. So Lena Trevetti is so transparent and authentic. She is an inspiration for those who want to support everyone having an equal space. How can men and women work together to really make that a possibility so that the children of the future can really enjoy a world where creativity is encouraged without limits? My name is Lena Trevetti, and I would like to invite you to join me to work towards making the world a better place.